Welcome back to another basics game maker studio tutorial and I thought like hey let's do some more fun and practical stuff which is traps which you always need in tons of games so here for a side scroller um, the asset then for example I don't know a cannon or maybe a rotating spike which I already did in a video but I'm gonna repeat it so this makes a little bit more sense for you guys or for example today we're going to focus just on the saw blade here and there it has just two states one is active where it's rotating and one inactive and then i colored it red so it is a little bit more clear for the player and of course for you guys already so if you want to get hold of that stuff well patreon supporters get that stuff plus the graphics well included so here you go so this is a big thank you from my side alrighty this is one up indie so if you like what you're seeing hey why not consider sharing liking and well subscribing of course that would be nice alright so let's jump into the project so basically there's not much going on besides this is the sprite so here we have an animation of the saw which and then it has a well the saw blade and then of course it is centered in the middle nothing too special and then we have just one object and then boom we just place it into the room and this is pretty much it so no magic in this regard so let's kill all of that stuff and let's make it as easy as possible here we just need a few things first of all we need a alarm so we once we trigger it we start animating and this is the whole idea behind it so at the beginning we have an image speed of zero uh, to our our saw blade well it has a constant animation but at the beginning we are blocking it so therefore image speed zero then i don't know we define a variable say like hey at what time we want to repeat the loop because we will loop our alarm so this is the idea behind it we just go into the alarm the alarm so we just repeat the loop so alarm set a zero and then what kind of time well the ones which we set here so no randomness it will always repeat in the same pattern so this is the interesting part here we're gonna take our image speed set it to one and what we're gonna do is then we can cycle through it because now we have at the very beginning the image index of zero and then it will go image index zero one two three four five and then well it hits at some point the end and when we're hitting the end, da -da -da -da, we just go other, animation, end, and then say, hey, now let's copy paste that image speed is set to zero. And of course, our image index, of course, you don't have to do that, but this is, I guess, a very clean way. We start at zero also. And then this is how we repeat the loop. So let's get, uh, well, so let's start it. Alrighty, this is pretty much it. So as you can see, we have a loop and then, well, we are rotating it. And then of course, it would make sense that you have a collision when this thing is rotating. Of course, no collisions in this video tutorial. Of course, if you want to fine tune it a little bit, what you can do is, and this is bonus content if you liked so, you just say, hey, draw yourself. And then we just say like, hey, is our image speed zero? So image speed zero so what's happening if the image speed is zero so basically we are idle and then what you can do is two things if you like this is of course completely optional we give it an image alpha of let's say zero eight so it's a little bit transparent so you see okay that thing is inactive or you give it or well you can do both you give it a specific color which is signifying hey that thing is inactive and then we say like hey else if we are animating so if there is a collision we just say like hey image alpha because we need to reset this thing to one and of course the image blend set it to see white so it is what it's normally should be so let's start it again alrighty so what you're seeing in front of you well is the <laughs> whole result here it's a little bit more significant because hey it's a little bit more transparent and then it hits red which is i guess a good signifier for the player Alrighty, that was it from my side hopefully you enjoyed it and of course hey more stuff to come in the future have a good one one up indie